harvested from Indiana farmland over a century ago, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway is a simple two-and-a-half-mile oval. Built with the original intent to serve as a test track for the newly formed automobile industry, the Speedway became a place where drivers could test limits of both speed and courage. In May of 1911, Ray Haroon won the first 500-mile endurance race, lasting nearly seven hours, a feat marveled from around the world. In the century that followed, 66 other drivers have won the Indianapolis 500, creating the greatest spectacle in racing. But before you can take part in the race, you must first qualify for the field of 33. Simply put, drive faster than everyone else. In the early days of qualifying, track speeds topped out in the upper 80s. Then Rene Toma broke the 100-mile-an-hour barrier in 1919, and the race was on in pursuit of a new track record. Track announcer Tom Carnegie gave those words added meaning for more than half a century as legendary drivers continued to push the record to new limits. In 1977, pole sitter Tom Sneaver cracked the 200-mile-an-hour barrier. And the current track record of close to 237 miles an hour was set in qualifying by Ari Lyondike in 1996. Today, drivers are almost 150 miles an hour faster than those who first took to the track at Indy a century ago. But the goal is still the same. Before you can race for glory in a checkered flag, you must make the field of 33. And today is pole day where 24 drivers push to achieve their dream of racing at the Indianapolis 500 in her celebratory centennial race.